Hi, this is Sridhar. In this session, I'll be explaining you about how to validate the email address entered. Basically, all, all of you know that the email address definitely it should ha be having uh, at the rate of symbol and there should not be any space. Only these two validations I'm checking in this trigger in this session. So I will I'll be checking for the at the rate of symbol. If the at the rate of symbol is not there, then it is an invalid email ID. And if the spaces are present anywhere in the email ID, then it is an invalid email ID. So these two checks I am using in this trigger. So this trigger will be automatically invoked after inserting or updating of email column on a particular table. So email column is present in my employee email table. So for this I am using the row level trigger create or replace the trigger trigger name before insert or update of any of the column name email on the table employee email. So before insert or update I am checking this for each row this is a row level trigger so I am putting for each row begin my my PLSQL block will come here. Here I am using just the if condition. If the at the rate of symbol is present anywhere in my new email column value. In my email column value, if the at the rate of symbol is present anywhere, I am searching from the first position. If it is present anywhere, then it is an invalid email ID. So for that I am putting the in string in string of the email value and I am searching for at the rate of symbol from the first position if there is no at the rate of symbol anywhere in the email column then my position will be zero if the at the rate of symbol is not present anywhere in the column email I am searching from the first position if it is not present anywhere in the column then my position will return 0. So if it returns 0, then it means at the rate of symbol is not present anywhere. So it is an invalid email ID. Or my an another condition is I am searching for the space. If spaces are found anywhere, then it is also invalid email ID. So I am searching for the space using in string, in string of the email column. My searching, I am searching for the string space. So putting single quotes, comma, searching from the first position onwards if I found space anywhere in the email then my position will be greater than 0 it will not be equal 0 it will be greater than 0 if I found anywhere spaces in the email column column value if I found spaces anywhere then my index position will be greater than 0 so if it is greater than 0 then means it means it is an invalid email ID so let me execute this compiled and I am going to insert to insert um, two values first one I have at the rate of symbol it is a valid email but I have spaces I have space after the at the rate of symbol which is invalid so it should prompt me error message yes it's prompting me the error message invalid email address and the second one I don't have at the rate of symbol but I don't have spaces. I don't have spaces means it's a valid but I don't have at the rate of symbol means it is invalid. So I'm searching for the at the rate of symbol also. In that case it is invalid. This one also I'm getting invalid email address. If I put at the rate of symbol then it is inserted. If I remove this remove this space then it is an invalid email ID. Let me check emp underscore email and check the data. Yes, these values are inserted now. In this way you can check the valid email ID by using the row level trigger. Thanks for watching. Bye.